hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make this nice doll dress for a doll that is about 30 centimeters tall i'm using a four millimeter crochet hook you can use any type of yarn that you have so to start us off you're going to start by making 32 uh, stitches 32 chain stitches One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, and thirty-two. So we are, we are going to start from the third chain from the hook. The first two chains count as the first half double crochet. So we are going to make four more to make them five to make the first five half double crochets. So we start by one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So the next stitch we are going to make a V stitch where we make a one half double crochet chain one, one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the next five stitches we are going to make half double crochet. One, two, three. Five. In the next stitch, you're going to make a V stitch. One, one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the next seven stitches, you're going to make half double crochets. So, one, two. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. In the next stitch, we are going to make a V stitch. So one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the next sti five stitches, we are going to make half double crochets. So one, two, three. Four, five. In the next stitch, you're going to make a V stitch. So, one, chain one. Oops. Chain one, and then one half double crochet in the same stitch. The next five stitches, you're going to have double crochet across to the last stitch one two three four five so. five so this is how your work should be looking like like that So we're going to row number two. We're going to start uh, start off by chaining two. One, two, turn your work. Chain two counts as the first half double crochet. So we are going to crochet five half double crochets across to make them six. One, two, three, four, and five. So these are uh, uh, these are six with the with the chain two one two three four five six. So in the next chain one stitch in between, we are going to make a V stitch. So one half double crochet chain one one half double crochet. In the next six stitches, we are going to make half double crochet. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. In the next chain one space, we're going to make a V stitch. In the next eight stitches, we're going to make up double crochet. Chain one space, we're going to make a V stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. In the next six stitches, we're going to make a half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, five, and six. And then in the next Chain one space, we're going to make a V stitch one. Chain one, one. And then in the next six stitches, we're going to have double crochet across one to the end. Two, three, five. We have one more the end here make them six so we are going to chain two and turn our work we're going to repeat the same thing that we did on row two so we are going to have double crochet to the have double crochet to the v stitch stitch in between there and then half double crochet to the V stitch again one two three four five six and seven then half double crochet one chain one half double crochet in the same in the V stitch then we're going to half double crochet nine one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one half double crochet, chain one, one half du double crochet, and chain seven, one, two, three, four, five. And seven half double crochet in the V stitch one half double crochet in the same V stitch then we're going to half double crochet to the end one two three four five six seven and then one more in the chain two space chain one more here in the chain two space Okay. So in the next row, we are going to make the arm, the armhole. So this is how it looks like. So what we do is we are going to chain up two, one, two, turn our work, and we are going to crochet, crochet to the, crochet to the V stitch. One or three, four. Three, six. And then we are at the V stitch. We're going to make one half double crochet in in between the V stitches. So just one. And then we're going to skip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches up to the to the other to the other V stitch. So in the V stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. And then we're going to crochet 
across to the next V stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Yeah, at the other V stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet in there. We're going to skip eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are at the other V stitch. We're going to crochet in between the V stitches. We're going to make one half double crochet, and then we're going to crochet to the end to half double crochet to the end. One, okay, two, three. So, the, so we have made our armholes just like that. So we are coming to make this down here. This is how the back looks like. So what we do is we crochet, sorry, chain two, one, two. And then we are going to have double crochet across. We will do that uh, in the next three rows. Have double crochet across. If you want, you can change color if you want. Here, if you want, but I prefer mine like that. Okay. So we are going to uh, have double crochet three times across three rows. is my first row of the three rows all have double crochets So we will continue like that, three rows to make the bodies. So you do make three rows of half double crochet and I'll meet you at the end. So I'm back after th third row, three rows of half double crochet, one, two, three. So this is how it looks like, pretty nice, the back looks like this. So the next thing that we do is we are going to work on the skirt part. And to do that, we are going to chain up two. And the, at the base of the chain, we are going to, actually we are going to chain up three. And at the base of the chain, we are going to have double crochet. One. to half double crochet not half double crochet double crochet so it looks like that in the next one we are going to make one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same stitch so we are going to repeat that across so one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in the same stitch, one across, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So we are going to do that across, and then I'll uh, I'll meet you up at the uh, the last stitch. So here we are at the last stitch. So I'm going to make. One half double, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in the same stitch. This is how my work looks like. Looks like that. 
So we are going to start working in the round. So what we do is we are going to make it in the right turn. We are going to join these two together. You can join at the top of the ch chain three stitch. Like that. And then we are going to have uh, see, uh, to chain up three. We are going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we are going to double crochet in the next stitch. So the first chain up three makes it one half double crochet plus one uh, chain one. So it kind of looks like a V stitch. V stitch plus one double crochet in the next chain one stitch we are going to make a v stitch but have a double crochet chain one double crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to double crochet one in the next v stitch we're going to double crochet one chain one double crochet in the same stitch so in the next stitch we're going to double crochet one in the next v stitch we're going to double crochet one chain one double crochet one so we're going to do that around you're going to notice that in between the double crochets there's one double crochet this one this is one this is another one in between there's a half uh, there's a double crochet so we're going to do that around until it forms a dress you can do it as many rounds as you want, depending with how tall the, the, your doll is. So we are going to do that and then we will meet at the end. I'm, I think I'm going to do mine like four rows because I don't want mine to be so tall, to be so long, such a long dress. So I will meet you up at the end and show you the next thing. So I am almost to the end of my fourth row and then I slip stitch to the last stitch and I'm done with my dress this is how it looks like very nice so you can cut off the yarn leave a little bit long so that you can tuck it in so you can sew in the the excess yarn and then you can put in the buttons you can put in buttons or if you have like these ones that I have I don't know what they are called you can sew them in so these are what this is what i'm going to put at the back and my dress is ready here it is all nice so thank you for watching you can subscribe to my channel for more videos